what's going on guys and welcome to the reaction of sticks and stones um if you guys are not if you're new to the channel okay if you're new to the channel um you already know that this is not going to be on youtube okay so if you come across this reaction just know that um this will not be for up it's probably not gonna be up forever but i will be uploading this to my google drive you can go there watch my reaction um if you're not be able to see it because there is a view limit over on the google drive all you have to do is just wait probably like a couple of hours or so and you should be able to watch it but i won't be uploading this to any other source because eventually i might delete this reaction i've done this before where i react to stuff um like this that are so heavily copyrighted and stuff like that it's just for you to to get a glimpse i won't be editing it will be the full reaction of me probably laughing my ass off because i heard this shit is funny as hell but thank you guys so much for tuning in we're just gonna jump into it man so all you have to do is just go to the link in the description click on that google drive link and go watch it and then i will have something to say after so you can just come back to the video to see my review of dave chappelle's sticks and stones so let's go see this and we will be back right here for the review bop, bop. all right so welcome back you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as i did man that was beautifully done by dave chappelle i'm a huge dave chappelle fan i do believe that dave chappelle is the best to ever do it and the reason why why i why i think this is not because i don't respect other comedians of course um they are um other comedians that i consider to be very good they consider you know richard pryor to be the greatest of all times um you're talking about eddie um eddie murphy um just really good comedians of all that if you're gonna name a top five these comedians they have to be in it else it's else it's like freaking sacrilegious <laughs> it's like you're committing blasphemy you know what i'm saying so um when they're talking about top five comedians dave chappelle has to be up there richard pryor has to be up there um um there's a reason when it comes on to to kevin hart kevin hart is a specific kind of comedian where i feel like sometimes his jokes don't land as good as they could like he's hilarious don't get me wrong um you know when you're talking about a cat williams and stuff like that like as i said dave chappelle richard Pryor has to be in your top five they're not in your top five Something is wrong with you. Eddie Murphy, one of those people too, has to be in your top five. Those guys are hilarious. And here I come out of left field, Seinfeld. <laughs> if Seinfeld is not in your top five, it's in mine. I don't think. I don't think he's gonna be in most because his comedy is really specific. Um, his comedy is really specific to a certain demographic. I want to say that the reason why I say that. Is because a lot of his jokes you're not gonna get him and Dave Chappelle kind of have similar styles but at the same time Dave Chappelle goes there you know what I'm saying like for Jerry you really have to listen to listen to what he's trying to what he's trying to say and sometimes you can get Dave Chappelle's jokes before they even come because his storytelling is on another level Seinfeld you really do have to wait on his punchlines you know what I'm saying? Because he tells a story from beginning to end during his sets. Um, so mm -hmm. it's a lot of the stuff that he references is stuff that you probably would never have thought of. The situations, the stuff that he talks about. You know what I'm saying? Like his imagination is is out of this world when it comes on to his jokes. So Seinfeld is one of those guys that I really respect because his craft is really good. He, 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 he mastered his craft from a very young age and a lot of you guys just like Dave Chappelle coming from he started comedy at 14 so he's really one of those guys that I respect 
also. But talking about the stuff that he talked about in this, talking about Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, he touched on all the subjects that a lot of comedians are afraid to touch. And what I think the reason why he named this special Sticks and Stones, because we all know the, steady, the saying, Sticks and Stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me, right? So basically off the bat when all this backlash was coming and i'm like y'all don't even get it like he's setting you up you took the bait you took the bait because he knew that now that i've watched the special he knew that you guys was gonna go off on a tangent about the about the stuff he's talking about and joking about and and the thing about this kind of art form is is like to tell you and that's why when people make dark jokes right when people make dark jokes about certain things I just laugh at it because it's it's funny. There's nothing wrong with laughing. No, nothing is out of bounds when it comes on to laugh. There's a reason why that's an emotion that we have to laugh, to to find things funny, to have a sense of humor. There's a reason for that, right? If this was an issue, right? If this was not an issue, whereas in you know, there's, oh, this is off limits. This is off limits. This is off limits. Bro, nothing is off limits when it comes on to comedy. Nothing should be off limits when it comes on to comedy. I don't believe that, and I will never believe that. I believe that you should be able to laugh about anything at any time. Lighten up, okay? Because sometimes, yeah, if, if something happened and it's fresh, then you know what I'm saying? You have to respect it as in if you know if somebody died or something like that. You get what I'm saying? There's there's and comedians know that sometimes, you know, stuff is, is too early to joke about if it's like super serious. You know what I'm saying? But you have to find the laughter in it just the same if they do. You know what I'm saying? And don't take super offense to it and make it seem like, oh, they really mean this shit. No, it's just jokes, my dude. It's just jokes. Lighten up. You know what I'm saying? Get over yourself. Um, so just just talking about some of the stuff that he talked about, I talked a little bit about. I didn't really want to pause it while it was going on, but the Justice Smollett situation, like his situation was so weird. I, I stopped following it because it was just a bunch of drama. A lot of people said he did it for attention and stuff like that. And I'm like, why would you take a matter that's that serious that so many people are you know, can get so offended about this stuff and it's a really touchy subject, why would you joke about that? Why would you make up some story and stuff like that? If he did make up, make this up, because he's saying he never paid those dudes, because them dudes are like, they had the check and everything, it was like, this is how he paid us, and all of this other stuff. He paid basically the guys that were training him to do this to him, you know what I'm saying? So he can have a story or whatever. But just he wasn't had he didn't have any lack of fame so a lot of people are saying that he did this for attention and i'm like he never had no lack of fame like a lot of people knew him he was known because of his role on empire and also his singing career so i never understood why he would do that for fame so as i said i'm not saying something didn't happen to him but the details behind the story is what did doesn't make sense you get what i'm saying so putting that aside the jokes about Michael Jackson, in my belief is that I don't believe Michael J Jackson did anything to anyone. I don't believe that. And I've said this multiple times when people ask me my opinion on it, and I've said, no, I don't believe Michael Jackson did anything. I think these people were, um, they they realized this as, as an opportunity to get a payoff or to get some money. Michael Jackson never paid off any of these people. They settled... Uh, um, I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but he never actually paid them to drop the case or anything like that. Because remember, Michael Jackson still ended up in court, um, fighting this. So he never paid anybody. A lot of people think he paid them to go away from, and, um, there was, it's a court thing that happened. It was like two cases and he had to. He had to do something about one if he was going to do the other. So I don't remember exactly what it is. You guys can go look up the information for yourself. Um, or I could leave a link in the description 
about it i might just do that if you if you want to go know about it but I, as i said i think that i don't think michael jackson did it this is my opinion on the situation r kelly did that shit that's just my opinion i believe he did it he's done it in the past so he's capable of doing it again um so there's no allegedly stuff about this in in r kelly's case where they're coming out and and saying this and that and whatever i think that's a matter of did these girls actually did not want this to happen or this is does some statutory um you know what i'm saying when it comes down to statutory stuff where as in oh they were under age but did the girls want it or they didn't want it you get what i'm saying like are they trying to ruin him now because of that or is it the fact that you know they were did he take advantage of them you get what i'm saying because it kind of seems like they wanted this to happen you know what i'm saying i'm just saying i'm just i'm just saying this because a lot of people say oh they were brainwashed and they were promised stuff and all this other stuff listen everybody in life has a choice the lewis ck stuff i'm like a lot of the me too stuff that i'm like are you kidding me they're like oh i really wanted a career you could have not you could have changed career if you're if you're being abused and listen as long if if a guy is not they're like oh I'm like, none of these women come out and talked about if, you know, if they were, if, if, um, if a firearm was held to their head or anything like that, none of them, you know what I'm saying? None of them. All of them is saying, oh, I was in a room and I couldn't leave. Um, why, why couldn't you leave? You chose to stay because you wanted the career. Now that your career is big and you got what you want now you want to come out and say oh this guy did this and whatever and whatever and it just seems weird to me it just seems weird to me a little bit unfair um because you did have a choice you didn't have to be in show business if you realize how you know how bad the men are why stay in show business you get what i'm saying guys like why stay in show business why stay in a corrupt system when you have a choice to not be a part of that corrupt system. But I want to realize my dreams. Well, that is a price you did not have to pay to get those dreams. But here we are. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's just my opinion on that. There's a lot of people. I always hear people say I did not have a choice. If somebody is not tr threatening you with death. You get what I'm saying? And don't tell me, oh, it, it was as if it was death no if somebody's not holding a gun to your head or a machete to your neck or a knife to your throat or anything like that you have a choice in most situations you do have a choice you can walk away you did not want to because you wanted the fame that you were promised and you chose to stay in that rule just my opinion a lot of people say oh they would have strong armed me or whatever well if you're in that situation then you're in a different category i'm talking about the people that come out and they say stuff and you're like this doesn't add up you had a choice you get what i'm saying or you're just saying this just because oh people are you know support the, you know because of the me too movement but that's just my opinion on that um when it comes on to other stuff um what else did he talk about um you know the the alphabet people you know and that's one of the issues that I, I necessarily, I don't like to talk about it because I have nothing against these people because my statement is always this. And I've said this many times on the channel. Um, my statement is, is purely this when it comes on and my stance on it is this. Everybody had the right to choose. Let them choose who they want to love or whatever. At the end of the day, whatever God they serve, that's who they're going to have to answer to. So why am I going to get all up in arms about it and have uh, and have an opinion on how they want to live their life? If you want to live your life to the fullest and that's how you feel like you need to live your life and identify as that or that's how you were born and all of this other stuff, that's on you. It's never going to be on me as long as it's not affecting my life personally. I have not a damn thing to say. The abortion stuff he talked about, my stance on that is the same. You have the choice to make to make this choice for yourself. My opinion is this, like I'm not for abortion. Okay? I'm not for it. I'm I'm not you know pro abortion, right? I'm not for it. I believe that it is 
you know, in no uncertain terms, I believe it's murder. And that's my opinion on it. That doesn't mean that I want to take away your choice. That doesn't mean that I don't feel like they that they should put laws in place to control you and to make you not do this. I'm saying it's still your choice, but my belief is that um, that's a life that you are taking away. That's just my belief. But if that's what you want to do and that's your choice, um, by all means, you can make that choice. Everybody has choice. Everybody has free will. Um, the consequences of it is always going to be on you. You're going to have to deal with the consequences. If, you know what I'm saying, whether whether it, the consequences is good or bad, you're going to have to deal with it. It has nothing to do with me. So, I, I, but I do believe that, you know, that if you're going to do this, that you should at least talk to the guy that you did this with if you know who he is or if you can remember who he is. So, you know what I mean? Like, I think two people um, made this um, made this life, and I think two of them should come to a decision. It's just weird to me, you know, how there's a double standard when it comes on to that stuff because I'm like, you know, and it's just like what Dave is saying about, you know what I'm saying, I should have a choice to not pay also because if you have a choice to, you know, kill the child, you know what I'm saying, I should have a choice to leave if you decide to keep it. And it's it's really the truth, but we, you know, men, we don't have a choice in that matter. If, you know, we just happen to get a girl pregnant and she decides to keep it, if I say I'm not going... I'm not ready to be a father, I has still have to pay child support. You can go to court and the, the judge orders, a, you know, they'll they'll um, take the money out of my paycheck to pay for the kid where I have to give you money, right? So I'm just saying, you know, and as he said, if I'm wrong, then you're probably wrong too. So that's just how I see it. And, you know, you don't hear much people talk about how, you know, how these things differ in in how, you know, how they turn out. You know, so definitely, definitely, man, as I said, those are just my stance on those things. But this special was extremely funny. I liked it very much um, as, you, as if you went over and watched it. I loved it, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you watched it, if you went over to the Google Drive and watched it, as I said, man, this is probably not going to be up for long, um, but it's over there. You can go watch it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, more stuff on the channel that you can watch, of course. Um, but, you know, I'm going to start doing some other comedy skits. A lot of people have told me about doing Bill Burr. Um, don't really know who this guy is, but <laughs> okay, Bill Burr it is. Um, so I'm going to be doing some more comedic stuff on the channel. There's some stuff that I can upload, some stuff I can't, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in once again, and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you like this video, and also leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you would like to see on the channel, and also subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terror by Reacts, and I will see you guys next time for some more comedic stuff. Peace.